Hi, my name is Annelies Carey in Port Lincoln, home to the largest fishing fleet in Australia. Our fishermen catch lots of yummy seafood, but today I'd like to find out where Australian sardines come from. Here we are with my special guest Matt Weller, a sardine fisherman. Welcome to CTV Matt. Thanks Annelies, good to be here. So why do you need such a big boat for such a small fish? Well we don't catch them one at a time. We've got to go out there and catch them all at the same time. And, uh, and they're usually in schools with lots of them. The most number of fish I've caught in one, in one shot was 250 tonnes. Wow, that's a lot of fish. How do you make sure there's enough for the future? Well, our fisheries management uh, quotas our fishery, quotas a restriction on annual catch, which says that we can only take so much every year and leaving enough behind for next year and also breeding fish for uh, next year and the year after as well. Where do you go to catch sardines and how do you find them? Well, we go out into the ocean here, probably about anywhere between 10 and uh, 50 miles away. We leave in the afternoon to try and get to the, to the fishing ground where we think the fish are going to be at sundown. At sundown, if you're lucky enough, you can often find the birds working on the patches of fish as they're diving in the water. But as it gets darker, uh, what we'll do is often use sounders, echo sounders and sonars, which are a, a way of searching underwater in the dark. The reason we fish at night time is because the fish aggregate uh, on the moonlight to, uh, to chase the little, little, little fish, the little prey they eat, the little uh, uh, crustaceans and stuff in the water. So when you find the fish, how do you get them into the boat? Do you use fishing rods? Well, we don't use rods to catch each individual fish because we try and catch them all at the same time. We actually use a net to catch them. Um, this style of fishing we call persaining requires us to drive in a circle around the patch of fish and as we drive around we shoot off a net. And the net hangs in the water like a big curtain. And in the bottom of the net there's a, a wire that comes off winches on the boat and when we winch the wire up it gathers the bottom of the net together like an upside down money purse and then it drives the fish up to the side of the boat. We then put a big pump in the water uh, and it sucks all fish and water out and pushes them through a separator. So we put the water back over the side, we keep the fish and that goes into our tanks for storage. How do you keep them fresh when you're coming back to land? Well it's critical with such a small fish uh, to keep it as you say fresh as possible. So we chill them down to a critically low temperature of zero uh, to minus one degrees and it's essential we get them back to port uh, within eight hours so that we can get them to the market as fresh as possible. Matt, do you like eating sardines? I love eating sardines. In fact, my favourite way to eat sardines is on the end of the wharf here. I grab them fresh out of the tank, I strip the scales off and then I just swallow them whole. Oh, that's disgusting. My kids don't like them that way. They like them crumbed with chips and salad. Good fish. This has been Annalise Carey in Port Lincoln, reporting for CTV.